Today I'm testing out Butcher Box Salmon Burgers. But first we have to start out with some homemade tartar sauce. The key to this tartar sauce is the wickles, which are basically just spicy bread and butter typed pickles. I chopped up some of them and about an equal amount of dill pickles. I had some parsley left over from another dish, so we added that in there. And a good amount of lemon juice. And finally, a pinch of salt. Stir it up real good and let it sit in the refrigerator for a bit. Now let's turn our attention to these salmon burgers. If you notice, they're individually wrapped. It's because you keep them in the freezer and you cook them from frozen. It's said to oil the grill, but I just thought it would be more effective to spray a little Pam on both sides of the patties. I heated the grill on high and then turned them down to low for cooking. That was a mistake. I ended up having to turn them back up on high to get them to char on the outside. They took about 10 minutes total to cook probably would have been closer to five or six minutes if I'd have left them on high. Let's put one together with some of this homemade tartar sauce and give it the old taste test. Okay, now I'm going to give you my opinion on this salmon patties. They take about um, 10 minutes on the grill. They take a little longer than you think, but they hold together really well. As you can see, you know, they didn't fall apart, which is, I was kind of shocked at that. So here we go. Good piece of salmon. Of course, my tartar sauce just rocks. Um, they're easy. They hold together real good. It's a good way to, uh, if you're a salmon lover, this is a delicious way to uh, enjoy. A little fishy for my taste, but if you're a salmon lover, this is probably going to be something you'll really like. Um, I probably won't get them again, but then I'm really not a fish kind of guy. Um, but if you like salmon, this is really a, a easy and convenient way to take to cook you up a little salmon. My tartar sauce rules, by the way. So anyway, that's my opinion. It's good. If you're a salmon lover, it's good high quality salmon. I, I've lived in Alaska, so I've had the best, and it, this is really, you know, this is good salmon. That's all I can say. It's just really good salmon. Um, I would recommend it. 
I, can, I would recommend it, especially if you're a salmon lover. I mean, this tastes like the real thing from Alaska. So anyway, if you liked this video, push the like button for me. If uh, you uh, like me reviewing the Butcher Box, you want me to keep doing that, please subscribe to my channel. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, <laughs> I'm a Butcher Box subscriber and a great fan. And uh, so if you're a Butcher Box subscriber, tune in. You may find something uh, that uh, you didn't know they had out there. Uh, like I said, I'm still working on them to get me a code so I can get you guys a little discount. Um, if you like these videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, pop over and look at some of my southern recipes. Um, so if you like this video, push the like button. If you didn't like this video, push the like button anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Then, until next time. This is Dr. J, over and out.